So I'm in my foyer and I'm gonna paint it today. I really want something a lot lighter. I'm gonna use Sherwin-Williams Sea Salt. Beautiful color. I'm gonna try the Easy Twist Paint Stick from Home Right. What I'm gonna be able to do with this thing is suck up the paint. I'm not gonna have to use any paint dishes. I'm not gonna have any spills. It's supposed to be a lot quicker than having to bend to reload my paintbrush. Let's see if it works. It's actually really simple. All you need is your gallon of paint. It comes with a little tube sucker thing here that just clips right onto your paint can. It's got this little valve or spout here, I should say, that's gonna go directly into this piece here. This is what's gonna allow you to suck this paint up. Just put it on here, make sure you've got a nice tight seal and that it doesn't fall. I've got it in there pretty good. And all I'm doing is using my left hand here to twist. And when I twist, it's sucking that paint directly up into the tube. And I'm gonna keep going until it's not gonna allow me to suck up any more paint. And that's a lot of paint. That's gonna allow me to do a lot of painting without having to stop and refill. Now I'm just gonna release this, okay? And now I've got a full tube of paint. And that's gonna get me pretty far without having to stop. So now we're actually ready to paint. I like that it's got this paint shield here. This is gonna be really helpful if you're trying to paint and you don't wanna make a big mess. What should happen is when I start turning this tube, I should start to see the paint coming out of this roller. And whenever I feel like it's kind of running low on paint, just turn it. All right, so I'm gonna start twisting. You see those dots? Looks like there's some paint that's coming out of the roller now. If you look over here on the wall, you'll see the dots where it's starting to come out. I'm just gonna twist and paint. And I like the coverage. It looks like there's a lot of paint that's coming out. This shield, it's actually kind of preventing the roller from touching the ceiling, which is I, I like. I tend to sometimes get a little sloppy with my painting and this actually prevents it from touching the top, which is good. When you're using this, do not put this part next to the wall. There's a scratch here that I just made from the metal. So you wanna make sure you're doing it this way whenever you are painting and there's an adjacent wall. Mistakes! See, aren't you glad that I'm doing this tutorial because you wouldn't have known that if I wouldn't have shown you. And if I ever wanna do the ceiling, I can do the ceiling without having to stand on a chair or a ladder or something, which is kinda nice. Okay, so I'm gonna suck up another load and I should get a nice full load of paint. Okay, so look at that. I've got a full tube of paint and I'm just gonna keep twisting for as much paint as I need. Twist a little bit, get some of that paint out. But, you know, as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of paint here. Like, there's really no need for me to stop and reload anytime soon. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. I've got paint in my hair. I've got a lot of wall, there's a lot of space here, so I don't wanna have to be, you know, coming downstairs, rolling my brush, going back to the stairs. It's just too much. So with all this paint in here, I should be able to get done a lot of this hallway without having to refill. Oh my God, I'm stepping in paint.
So I'm done. Everything's cleaned up. And honestly, I'm very happy with this paint roller. It really helped me to save time. It didn't make a big mess. When I was on those stairs, that was a safety concern. I didn't want to have to get up and down the ladder just to put more paint on my roller. The fact that I was able to get up and down just one time to do the paint that I needed to do, the painting I needed to do, I'm sold. I actually am really excited about using this again. So if you've got a large wall, a large area, um, you've got stairwells where you don't want to climb up and down, by all means, get yourself this paint roller because it works. You can use it again. If you really enjoyed this review, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go check me out at thriftdiving.com. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think.